Thank you so much for watching this week. This whole month, I'm talking about goal setting and self-discipline, how they go hand in hand. You know, I want you to be described as a person of discipline. Don't you think that's like the greatest compliment for somebody to say, they are so disciplined. Well, I believe that that is your key to success. When you become disciplined, you become consistent. You know, like they say, the tortoise always beats the hare. <laughs> when you become disciplined, you are going to achieve your goals. But really being disciplined, it's about focusing on a result that you really want. Whether it's a goal to weigh a certain amount, to have a certain amount in savings, to go on a trip, to have a book published, it's focusing on a result that you really want. You know, Michael Hyatt, he talked about five steps to develop more discipline. Whether it's discipline to stay in shape, to maintain a blog, to eat healthy, eliminate debt, whatever it is, it's going to take discipline. So I want to share some of his points and then add some of my thoughts to it. Number one, he said, determine your goal. Well, the number one reason people don't achieve their goals is because they're unclear. Clarity is what helps you when you're setting goals for your life. You know, it's describe or defining what you really want and being very specific about it, like getting crystal clear on what you want. So if it's, um, you know, that you want to lose weight, then you write down, not just I want to lose weight, don't focus on the negative, focus on the positive by saying, I will weigh 130 pounds by June 1st, 2015. It's being very specific like that. Another example would be, I will read 12 books on leadership by December 31st. Now, number two is list your reasons. Why do you want to achieve this goal? You know, I think sometimes that is the missing piece in both goal setting and with discipline, is why do you want to read books on leadership? Is it just to say you read 12 books? You need to define those reasons. It could be because I want to start my own company in five years, or because I want to pastor a church, I want to launch a business, I want to run a department, and I need to learn how to be an effective leader. Could be because, you know, you know that the most successful people in the world have committed to continual learning, and so you want to keep learning. Why? So you'll be promoted in life. Um, you know, they say you uh, learn more to earn more. Well, it could be that you're wanting to earn more income, so you're wanting to increase your knowledge. You have to define why this goal is important to you. Number three is identify likely obstacles. I would say the number one obstacle is feelings. You know, you can be your biggest problem. I'm my biggest problem. It's just your feelings always telling you, you know, I don't feel like reading books. I don't want to read books. Or just getting overwhelmed and saying, what's the point? I have so far to go or I'm exhausted. I worked all day. I don't want to go home and read a book. Well, you have to decide up front. Do not let your feelings decide. Do not let your emotions get involved in this because you're never going to feel like being a person of discipline. I still to this day don't feel like getting up at 5 in the morning and going to the gym. But you know what? I don't let my feelings decide anymore. I don't feel like reading a lot, but I don't let my feelings decide. Why? Because I know this behavior is going to help me achieve my goal. So don't let your feelings vote. Number four is develop new behaviors. You know, this is where you must focus is on the key behaviors that you need to establish in your life. And you know, you've probably heard this phrase that the only way you change your desires is changing what you give attention to. So let's say, for example, you don't want to read, you want to watch TV. Well, how do you change that, you know, that desire to watch TV to a desire to read? You change what you give attention to. You say for 30 minutes, I'm going to turn the TV off, go somewhere and read a book. Well, the more you give attention to reading, the more you're going to desire reading. It just happens that way. You change your desires by changing what you give attention to. And finally, number five is simply stay focused. Um, you know, I want to give you a challenge this month, um, or actually this week. I've been talking about goal setting, been talking about discipline the whole month, and I asked you the first of this year to write out 10 goals that you want to achieve this year, over the next 12 months. 10 goals that you're focused on. Well, those are probably kind of big, not so big that it's just crazy overwhelming, but some of them are pretty big and they may take the whole year or it may take 18 months, but I need you to see some progress now to keep you motivated to stay focused. So I want to give you a new challenge to set 10 goals of just random things that you need to get done right now.
Now these could be things that you've been putting off. These could be things like getting your car inspected or getting the oil changed, getting your health checkup, going to the dentist. It could be um, writing a thank you note for a Christmas gift you got and you just forgot to thank somebody. It could be calling someone, a grandparent, a relative that you've been putting off for weeks but you know you need to call them. Um, it could be I don't know, paying a certain bill that you know it's late and it's just been bothering you that you haven't paid that thing. It, whatever it is, I want you to make a list of those things. It could be a certain area of the house that's cluttered, a closet that you've been saying for years, I'm going to clean that thing up. I want you to write down 10 things that need to get done. Washing the car, whatever it is, write 10 things down that need to get done. That's the first assignment. Number two, is designate certain days on the calendar to actually achieve every one of those. Look over the next 30 days and take 1 through 10 and say, okay, make the phone call. I'm going to do that Tuesday when I drive home from work. I'm going to make that phone call. Or go get the health checkup. I'm going to schedule that for Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Or get the car washed. I'm going to do that Saturday morning. While everybody else is asleep, I'm running up to the car wash. Put it on the calendar over the next 30 days. Number three is just going through your list one by one, all the way down to number 10. Now, why is this important? Because I want you to see that you are a goal setter and you are disciplined. And when you achieve these 10 things over the next 30 days, it's going to motivate you to go for those bigger goals. You know, there's a phrase people say, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Now that can be good or bad. You may have a habit of being late. You know, you pay your bills late and you have to pay late fees or you wake up late habitually and you feel rushed and anxious all day long or you show up at meetings, you show up at events late and you have to apologize to everybody. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. So that works positively too. When you start achieving these goals, these 10 goals that are just things around the house, things in your personal life, you can achieve these over the next 30 days. It's going to motivate you to say, I am disciplined. I am a goal setter. I can do this. So set these goals and then I would love for you to share your progress and your feelings with me. So just, you know, look at the link that we've put on here and I want you to just share with me the list of 10 things. If you got them all done, just give me, I think it's going to help you stay accountable and it's going to make you feel exhilarated that I got this. We're going to do this this year. This is the year I'm changing old habits and I am going to be a person who sets goals and is disciplined to follow through on them. So challenge you to do that. Send them to me. And you know what? I'm continually praying over you that you are a goal setter and that you are highly disciplined more than ever before. So if you're enjoying this, share it with a friend, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter so I can keep you motivated to achieve your dreams. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.